Hey what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. You've probably seen them before, videos in which people try to make a game in a certain amount of time. In most of these videos the amount of time is 1 to 7 days. I wanted to one up this and make a game in 1 hour. I'm going to write a couple of game genres on a wheel and decide my fate using that. After that I'll create a new unity file and well, start. So a way of brainstorming game ideas I use is the sentence I want to make a insert genre game, but blank. You give yourself a genre to work with, but you should also add something unique to the game. A sentence could be, I want to make a Souls-like game, but I want it to be a 2D game and have platforming elements. That's probably what the creators of Blasphemous must have said to themselves. So I'll write down a couple of 2D genres now. Oh, what? What? Okay, well, let's see which one I... Okay, let's actually get a couple of more in here. Oh, you know what? I'll actually open Steam so that I- Oh! Oh, Ainsley! What the f- What are you doing here? This wallpaper gets me every time. Why is it looking at me like that? Let's open up Steam and look for some more games in my library. Get some inspiration. Alright, it's all set. I wrote a couple of genres down. Uh, so let's see what kind of game we're going to make. Oh! Wait, that means I- could have just used the first spin I did on accident. Okay. Okay, so this game still needs something to make it unique. I have no idea how far I'm going to get in an hour, so let's just uh, try at least. Let's open Steam again. Uh, look for things that make it unique. Oh, what we get? Oh! Okay, so I have no idea if I have time to implement any of this, but I'll try. So let's open a notepad and write something down uh, that the towers can possibly do. Okay, I'll take a quick break because some someone's calling me on Discord. Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm sorry guys, but from here it's all post commentary you'll be hearing. A friend of mine called me on Discord. I had to switch mics from laptop to computer to talk to the friend. And uh, when I switched back, I didn't plug it in correctly, so everything I said was recorded with a built-in laptop mic. Okay, so the time is about to start. No! <laughs> Alright, it has started. So the first thing I did was obviously create a player object and write a simple top-down controller script for him, in which I gave him a 2D rigid body and used a built-in horizontal and vertical axis. I applied those axes to the rigid body's position by adding it up together with a speed and after I actually gave the player a rigid body component the character could easily be controlled. After that I wrote a script in which the update function looks for my mouse position and the player object turns towards that position. So now the player can walk and look around. The next thing to do is allow the player to shoot obviously or at least that's what a normal developer would have done. I instead wanted the player to have a sprite first and since I would not have much time I went on the internet to find a possible dumb round thing that could replace the standard unique square thing. So I literally looked up dumb round things. I was not satisfied with the dumbness of the round things or the roundness of the dumb things. Maybe because I wrote dumber round thing so Google gave me a lot of drum stuff but I knew one stupid dumb round thing that would be perfect for a stupid dumb small game. So I wanted the emoji to shoot stuff out of its mouth, so I turned them into a Plants vs Zombies pea shooter. I thought it looked like a tongue, so I just made it pink. Now his tongue can shoot bullets. Uh, okay. I changed the sprite of the player, but the emoji was looking the wrong way, so I added an extra 90 degrees to its angle. And there we go everyone, we made a laughing emoji as a playable character. Congratulations! So I created a bullet prefab which the player could instantiate. When instantiating the code would be asking for a spawn position so I added a child object at the end of its cannon and made it so that the bullets would spawn at that position. And I should probably make the bullets move actually. I made a script for the bullets in which they would fly towards the mouse but my small brain wrote that script in the update function so uh... Incredible job! By uh... well, you know not doing that. I ended up with him shooting the wrong way. But if I change this plus into a minus, it's- OH! Oh, we're halfway there. But hey, the character is finally working. <laughs> right guys? <laughs> right? Now that that is out of the way, I should start with some enemies. Since I'm halfway there already, I'll just make them run straight towards you all the time. Because that's the easiest thing to do. I actually pretty much made those enemies already when I made the bullets follow my mouse. 
I could just copy what I did there and instead of following the mouse's position I'd make them follow the player position. You would say that past me would have thought of this himself? No. It took him 7 minutes to figure this out. Now that it's finally working though, let's make him actually damage each other. So that there's a playable game at least. But yet again, my small brain chose to give the enemy a sprite first. I searched for more dumb memes but these were all... What the f... This one has a spelling mistake and it's even dumber now. Okay, I had to search for a dumb meme myself. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So for the next 15 minutes, I was having difficulties with triggers to make the bullets actually hit the enemies. There are always these dumb rules the objects need to follow for them to work with triggers. It's not a lot, it's nothing special either, but I guess it's just something that happens when you don't prepare for a video in which you make a game in one hour. Shout out to Charger Games for actually telling me what to do. So a quick trigger lesson here. In Unity, there are two ways to detect collision between two different objects. Collision and triggers. If you give your object a collider that makes it able to, you know, collide with things. When for instance using box colliders, you can check this box that says, is trigger. Now instead of the object normally colliding with other objects, it goes straight through them. But the object can detect when they are inside a different object, or when it's the other way around. Using scripts, you can make, well, things happen when the object detects this. I wanted my bullet to be a trigger, so whenever an enemy is inside of the bullet, even if it's just one pixel, an event will happen where the enemy's health variable will be subtracted by one and the bullet will destroy itself. Then when the enemy's health variable is equal or below zero, it will destroy itself. Now what did I do wrong? Apparently at least one of them should have a rigid body that's not kinematic. This allows it to actually interact with the world. Well, that, that's literally all I had to do. Well, only five minutes left. I quickly made a script for the spawners, but there's honestly no way for this to work in five minutes. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. There's no way the spawners work, but let's see what we've got. Oh, the, the player can't die either. Well, let's delete these. So, this is the game. You kill three Ugandan knuckles as a laughing emoji that can shoot white circles from the end of its tongue. I never had to add those turrets to make the game unique. This is unique enough! Now I could have actually prepared for this game and come up with something decent. But I wanted to keep this real and show you that anyone can have struggles with making games. No, I didn't just make up a moral to this story because I'm disappointed with what I came up with. I mean... Right guys? Right? Right guys? Right guys! Thank you for watching this video. I might actually make this game better and upload it on itch.io in a future video so that you guys can actually play a normal version of the game. There's a dual wielded Discord server linked in the description in which you can now upload your own games or art as well as just chat with others, including me of course. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video. Might as well dislike it if you disliked it. I mean, sure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Right now I just need to- 